Hey everyone, I want to take a quick moment and uh, share something with you. This week I was doing some planning and looking forward to the end of the year and you know just adjusting my schedule and I realized that I have 25 weeks until my birthday. In 25 weeks I will be 50 and out of my 40s so I will start sharing uh, two tidbits a week starting today with you concerning what I've learned in my 40s, lessons, wisdom, tidbits. Some things may be applicable and some may have been just um, things that I've seen along the way. Uh, normally when I'm coaching people and mentoring people, I tell them that there's two types of lessons. There's a taught lesson and there's a bought lesson. So a taught lesson is when you've learned that from a mentor or in a class or in a some kind of structured environment. A bought lesson is when you've made a mistake and you, you bought that lesson so you've earned <clears throat> the wisdom that came from that situation. All right, so the two for today. The first is to always be ready to pivot in your life and that it's okay to pivot. Don't let age or any of the other determinants stop you from pivoting into your next situation. At the beginning of my 40s, um, I found myself in the hospital around 2011 and I was supposed to go in for a, a quick biopsy of my chest area and I ended up having to stay a little longer because my lung collapsed. Well, that five days in the hospital, I sat and I evaluated myself and really took some time to understand that I really wasn't, even though I was good at my job, I just wasn't happy there. And I wasn't happy with the trajectory and the way my life was going. So I decided at that point to make a plan. And eventually I transitioned out and working in another entire uh, field, still working with IT, but just transitioned to a different aspect of it. So that's the first lesson. Never be afraid to transition. Just make a plan, think it through, and move forward. I find that these days I'm happier with my life. I'm a much more um, settled person, and I have uh, reduced my stress load by a thousand percent. Uh, the second lesson is to be the CEO of your own life. It's tied to the first. Be the CEO of your own life. Understand that you're in charge of your career. You're in charge of your, your journey. Make sure that you're fully involved in all the decisions because uh, any job will look at your talents and gifts and say, okay, well, we can use you here and this is where we're gonna put you. But they may be putting limits on you. They may be putting um, you in a position that you don't wanna be in. So be the CEO of your own life. Take charge, take ownership of your career. That aspect of life belongs to you take charge of it. It can't be your parents. It can't be your boss. It can't be your manager. It can't be your mentor. It can't be your pastor or your yogi or whatever. It can only be you. You have to take charge of that. All right. So uh, one thing I'll tell you is that these jobs will have you replaced just as soon as you can say your full name. One example recently well, not recently, actually, it's been a few years. Uh, they announced someone's death and announced their uh, position changing over or position um, availability in the same call. So understand that uh, a lot of organizations care, but some don't. But you know who cares the most about you is you. So the two lessons for today, never be afraid to pivot and be the CEO of your own life take ownership all right i hope that you will join me on this journey because it has been this past decade has been a fantastic voyage so <laughs> as i um sit and think about what i've done in these past 10 years and the things that i've learned period um i'll be willing to share those with you and like i said i hope you join me on the journey and i look forward to the next 25 weeks of revelation wisdom and sharing all right, have a lovely day. Bye-bye.